Hello, this is Mr. Kenyanola, and I'm going to help you find the radius of a sphere when they give you the surface area. So if you guys remember, this is a sphere, okay? It is a three-dimensional ball shape, not a football, but more like a basketball, baseball, golf ball, planet, earth. Um, so, and we're trying to find the radius. The radius uh, for a sphere uh, goes from the core of the sphere to any points onto the sphere. So, from here to here, to here to here to here, and to uh, from here, okay, from here to from here, or anywhere on the sphere. So, uh, let's find the radius of this sphere. If you guys remember, so surface area of a sphere is s equals 4 pi r squared that means it takes four of these circles okay to cover up the entire surface of this sphere okay so uh so four circles cover up uh so let's just look at what we have here we have the formula which is s equals 4 pi r squared we have the surface area of the example that they give us, which is S equals 324 pi. Both of these equal S. So what we can do to these two is set them equal to each other. So we can write 4 pi r squared is equal to 324 pi. Our goal is to get uh, the r by itself. The radius isolates the r. Uh, so... These are all multiplying each other, the 4 times the pi times the r squared. So the opposite of multiplication is division. And we're going to divide two things. We can divide two things. We want to get rid of this 4, so we'll divide it by 4. And get rid of this pi, so we'll divide it by pi. And whatever we do to the left side, we have to do to the other side to keep them leveled or equal. Uh, so the 4s, they cancel each other out. The pies cancel each other out. These pies cancel each other out. So all we're left with is 324 divided by 4. So let's figure that out in our calculator. 324 divided by 4 is 81. So r squared is equal to 81 and let's uh the, we're not done yet because there's still a square the opposite of squaring something is square rooting so let's draw that radical symbol and the square root of 81 is 9. so our radius of this sphere so going from the center of the sphere to any point onto the sphere uh is 9. Now let's do another example. Um, so let's find the radius of the sphere when the surface area is 514.7185 meters squared. Uh, so let's write the formula again. S is equal to four circles that cover up the sphere. So four pi r squared. Um, so the formula is equal to S. This surface area is equal to s so we can set them equal to each other so 4 pi r squared is equal to 514.7185 now uh, if we look at it there's one major difference um, this surface area isn't left in terms of pi they actually took their calculator and multiplied it by pi this one, they left it in terms of pi, but it's okay. It's the exact same steps. Um, so uh, this is 4 times pi times r squared. We want to get the radius by itself. So opposite of multiplication is division. So we'll multiply or divide both sides by 4 pi. And these 4s cancel out, the pi's cancel out. Now here, uh, we're not, we, we don't have a pi here to cancel out this pi. So this is where we pick up our calculator. Now, uh, here's, a, uh, here's a warning. Uh, so a lot of people are going to do this. They're going to write, they're going to type up in their calculator, 514 point. So let's zoom in so you guys see what I'm doing. 514.7185 divided by four pi. So 
uh, they think, okay, that's what, how I see it. They're going to divide that. And they get 404. But that is the wrong answer. What you want, you so what you want to do is write 500, type in 514.7185 and divide it by, because this number is being divided by this number right here by four pi, not just four, but by four pi. So you want to take, uh, you want to put the four pi into parentheses, put four pi, close that parentheses, and look, this is way different from this. 404 is way different from 40. So the reason why these are different is what this is doing is it's dividing uh, 514.7185 just by four. And it takes that answer and then multiplies it by pi. Uh, because remember, order of operations, it goes from left to right when it's multiplication and division. So it just divides by 4 and then multiplies that answer by pi. This right here, uh, what it does first is it, it, order operations. It multiplies this 4 times pi and it takes that number and divides it uh, into 514. That's why we get such a different answer. So this is the answer that you want, not this one, so this. So uh, we're going to take our R squared is equal to 40.9599 and so on. And um, we want to get R by itself. The opposite of squaring something is square rooting. And so we're going to take our calculator again uh, and we're going to type in second and then the square roots and I don't really want to type all this up again so here's a little trick you go you press second again and if you see, you guys see this little a n s right here ands that takes the last answer that you got and and puts it in there and just press enter and then it gives you the square root of 40.9599679 which is approximately 6.3 9999 nine, 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 or 6.4 uh, and I forgot to do in the previous problem but let's put the units so 6.4 meters so there is your final answer I uh, hope this helps um, and so yeah one big thing is uh, don't forget to put the parentheses when you're dividing by 4 pi uh, yeah have a great day